Hi friends, welcome back to the Nurse Hub. Today we are going to discuss about the chapter Eye and Ear Disorders of the Adult Client. It consisting of 28 questions we are going to discuss today. Before going to start the video, if you not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe for more videos. Let us start the video. The first question is during the early post-operative period a client who has undergone a cataract extraction complains of nausea and severe eye pain over the operative site what should be the initial nursing action option a call the healthcare provider and option b reassure the client that this is normal option c turn the client on to his or her operative site option d administer and antimatic uh, here the option a is the right answer next question the nurse is developing a teaching plan for a client with glaucoma which instruction should the nurse include in the plan of care option a avoid overuse of the eyes option b decrease the amount of salt in the diet option c eye medications will need to be administered for life option d decrease fluid intake to control the intracular pressure here the option c is the right answer eye medications will need to be administered for life the next question the nurse is performing an admission assessment on a client with a diagnosis of detached retina which sign or symptom is associated with this eye disorder option a total loss of vision option b pain in the affected eye option c a yellow discoloration of the cellula option d a scene of a curtain falling across the field of vision here the answer is option d a scene of a curtain falling across the field of vision next question the fourth question is the nurse is performing an otoscopic examination on a client with mastoiditis on examination of the tympanic membrane which finding should the nurse expect to observe option a a pink colored tympanic membrane option b a purely colored tympanic membrane option c a transparent and clear tympanic membrane option d a red dull thick and immobile tympanic membrane here the d is the right answer a red dull thick and immobile tympanic membrane fifth question a client is diagnosed diagnosed a client is diagnosed with a disorder involving the inner ear which is the most common client complaint associated with a disorder involving this part of the ear. Option A, pruritis. Option B, tinnitus. Option C, hearing loss. Option D, burning in the ear. The right answer is option B, tinnitus. Sixth question. The nurse is performing an assessment on a client with a suspected diagnosis of cataract which clinical manifestation should the nurse expect to note in the early stages of cataract formation option a diplopia option b eye pain option c floating spots option d blurred vision the right answer is option d blurred vision a client arrives in the emergency department following an automobile crash the client's forehead hit the forehead hit the steering wheel and a Hyphema is diagnosed. The nurse should place the client in which position? Option A. Flat in bed. Option B. A semi-flowers position. Option C. Lateral on the affected side. Option D. Lateral on the unaffected side. Here the right answer is B. A semi-flowers position. Eighth question. The client sustains a condition of the eyeball following a traumatic injury with a blunt object. Which intervention should be initiated immediately? Option A. Apply eyes to the affected eye. Option B. Irrigate the eye with cold water. Option C. Notify the healthcare provider. Option D. Accompany the client to the emergency department. The right answer is option A. Apply eyes to the affected eye. The ninth question. A client arrives in the emergency department with a penetrating eye injury from wood chips that occurred while cutting the wood. The nurse assesses the eye and notes a piece of wood protruding from the eye 
what is the initial nursing action option a apply an eye patch option b perform visual acuity test option c irrigate the eye with sterile saline option d remove the piece of wood using a sterile eye clamp right answer is option b perform visual acuity test the nurse is caring for a client following enucleation and notes the presence of bright red drainage on the dressing which action should the nurse take at this time option a document the finding option b continue to monitor the drainage option c notify the healthcare provider option d mark the drainage on the dressing and monitor for an for any increase in bleeding the right answer is option c notify the healthcare provider 11th question a woman was working in her garden she accidentally sprayed insecticide into her right eye she calls the emergency department frantic and screaming for help the nurse should instruct the woman to take which immediate action option a irrigate the eyes with water option b come to the emergency department option c call the healthcare provider option d irrigate the eyes with diluted hydro hydrogen peroxide here the right answer is option a irrigate the eyes with water 12th question the nurse is preparing a teaching plan for a client who had cataract extraction with intraocular impl implantation which home care measures should the nurse include in the plan select all that apply first one is avoid activities that require bending over no. second one or contact the surgeon if i scratching is occurs third one take acetaminophen for minor eye discomfort fourth one expect episodes of sudden severe pain in the eye fifth one place an eye shield on the surgical eye at, eye at bedtime sixth one contact the surgeon if a decrease in visual acuity occurs here it is the right answer is 1 3 and 5 6 option c is the right answer 13th question Tonometry is performed on a client with a suspected diagnosis of glaucoma. The nurse looks at the documented test results and notes an intraocular pressure value of 23. What should be the nurse initial action? Option A: Apply normal saline drops. Option B: Note the time of the time of day the test was done. Option C: Contact the healthcare provider. Option D: Instruct the client to sleep with a head of the bed flat. Here the right answer is option B. Note the time of day the test was done. Fourteenth question: The nurse is caring for a client following craniotomy for removal of an acoustic neuroma. Assessment of which cranial nerve would identify a complication specifically associated with this surgery. Option A: Cranial nerve one olfactory. Option B: Cranial nerve four trochlear. Option C: Cranial nerve three. oculomotor option d cranial nerve 7 facial nerve the right answer is here d 15th question the nurse notes the notes that the healthcare provider has documented a diagnosis of presbycusis on a client's chart based on this information what action should the nurse take option a speak loudly but uh, mumble or slur the words option b speak loudly and clearly while facing the client option c speak at normal tone and pitch slowly and clearly option d speak loudly and directly into the client's affected ear here the right answer is option c speak at normal tone and pitch slowly and clearly 16th question a client manier's disease is experiencing severe vertigo which instruction should the nurse give to the client to assist in controlling the vertigo option a increase sodium in the diet option b avoid sudden head movements option c lie still and watch the television option d increase fluid intake to 3000 ml per day here right answer is option b avoid sudden head movements the 17th question the nurse is preparing to test the visual acuity of a client using a snellen chart which identifies the accurate procedure for this visual acuity test option a the right eye is eye is tested followed by the left eye and then both eyes are tested option b both eyes are assessed together followed by an assessment of the right eye and then the left eye option c 
the client is asked to stand at a distance of 40 feet from the chart and to write the largest line on the chart option d the client is asked to stand at a distance of 40 feet from the chart and read the line that can be read 200 feet away by an individual with unimpaired vision the right answer is option a the right eye is, eye is tested followed by the left eye and then both eyes are tested 18th question a client vision is tested with a snell and chart the results of the test are documented as 20 by 60 what action should the nurse implement based on these findings option a provide the client with materials on legal blindness option b instruct the client that he or she may need glasses when driving option c inform the client of where he or she can purchase a white can with a red tip option d inform the client that it is best to sit near the back of the room when attending lectures the right answer is option b instruct the client that he or she may need glasses when driving 19th question the nurse is caring for a hearing impaired client which approach will facilitate communication option a speak loudly option b speak frequently option c speak at a normal volume option d speak directly into the impaired ear the right answer is speak at a normal volume question number 20 Betaxolol hydrochloride eye drops have been prescribed for a client with glaucoma which nursing action is most appropriate related to monitoring for side and adverse effects of this medication answer uh, option a assessing for edema option b monitoring temperature option c monitoring blood pressure option d assessing blood glucose level the right answer is option c monitoring blood pressure next one the nurse is preparing to administer eye drops which interventions should the nurse take to administer the drops select all that apply the first one wash hands second one put gloves on third one place the drop in the con conjunctival sac fourth one pull the lower lid down against the cheekbone fifth one instruct the client to squeeze eyes shut after installing the eye drop Sixth one, instruct the client to tilt the head forward, open the eyes and look down. The right answer is 1, 2, 3 and 4. Wash hands, put gloves on, place the drop in the con conjunctival sac, pull the lower lid down against the cheekbone. Option A is the right answer. 22nd, the nurse prepares a client for ear irrigation as prescribed by the healthcare provider. Which action should the nurse take when performing the procedure? Option A. Warm the irrigating solution to 98.6 Fahrenheit. Option B. Position the client with the affected side up following the irrigation. Option C. Direct a slow, steady stream of irrigation solution toward the eardrum. Option D. Assist the client to turn his or, his or her head so that the ear to be irrigated is facing upward. Option A is the right answer. 23rd question. The nurse is providing instruction to a client who will be self-administering eye drops. To minimize systemic absorption of the eye drops, the nurse should instruct the client to take which action? Option A. Eat before installing the drops. Option B. Swallow several times after installing the drops. Option C. Blink vigorously to encourage tearing after installing the drops. Option D. Occult the nasolacrimal duct with a finger after installing the drops. Here the right answer is option D. Occult the nasolacrimal duct with a finger after installing the drops. 24th question. A client is prescribed an eye drop and an eye ointment for the right eye. How should the nurse best administer the medications? Option A. Administer the eye drop first followed by the eye ointment. Option B. Administer the eye ointment first followed by the eye drop. Option C. Administer the eye drop, wait 15 minutes and administer the eye ointment. Option D, administer the eye ointment, wait 15 minutes and administer the eye drop. Right answer is option A, administer the eye drop first followed by the eye ointment. 25th one, which medication if prescribed for the client with glaucoma should the nurse question? Option A, betaxolol, option B, phylocorphine, option C, 
erythromycin option d atropine sulfate here the right answer is option d atropine sulfate 26th amniotic medication has been prescribed for the client with glaucoma and the client asked the nurse about the purpose of the medication which response should the nurse provide to the client option a the medication will help dilate the eye to prevent pressure from occurring option b the medication will relax the muscles of the eyes and prevent blurred vision option c the medication causes the pupil to constrict and will lower the pressure in the eye option d the medication will help block the responses that are sent to the muscles in the eye uh, the right answer is option c the medication causes the pupil to constrict and will lower the pressure in the eye 27th one a client was just admitted to the hospital to rule out gastrointestinal bleed the client has brought several bottles of medications prescribed by different specialists during the admission assessment the client states lately i have been hearing some roaring sounds in my ears especially when i am alone which medication would the nurse identify as the cause of the client's complaint option a doxycycline option b atropine sulfate option c astosalicylic acid option d delta ejum hydrochloride uh, here the right answer is option c astosalicylic acid 28 in preparation for cataract surgery the nurse is to administer cyclopentolate eye drops at 9 am for surgery that is scheduled for 9:15 what initial action should the nurse take in relation to the characteristics of the medication action option a provide lubrication to the operative eye prior to giving the eye drops option b call the surgeon as this medication will further constrict the operative pupil option c consult the surgeon as there is not sufficient time for the dilative effects to occur option d give the medication as prescribed the surgeon needs optimal construction of the pupil The right answer is option C consult the surgeon as there is not sufficient time for the dilative effects to occur Thanks for watching the video if you like the video please like and share with your friends too Don't forget to subscribe for more videos thank you